Hi, I'm Andy Marsh. Many of you know I'm the CEO of Plug. And today I'm going to talk about all the exciting activity going on with policy in Europe. But when I started thinking about uh, this discussion, it reminded me that so often I'm asked with the in IRA in the United States, why would Plug spend any time in Europe because the opportunity here in the United States is so huge? And I like to step back and remind folks, you know, Plug's been in Europe and I, for over a decade now, and we've developed some really great relationships. And I think many of you know, Hyvea, uh, which is our partnership with Renault, which has vehicles on the road in Europe, which is homologized in across the EU. We have a relationship with Axiona to generate green hydrogen uh, with folks like the Port of Antwerp, where we're building a 35 tons per day liquid hydrogen plant. And we're selling electrolyzers to folks like Uniper and lots and lots of material handling comp companies who are using our products like Asda. So Europe is important to the growth of plug power. And look, uh, when you take a look back, Europe has really been a leader in renewable energy for a long time and has goals to cut their carbon footprint by 55% by 2030. It's a pretty big number. And hydrogen's a big part of that. And you can't forget, uh, when you think about the Ukraine war, it really has accelerated the changes in Europe's energy strategy. Energy independence is as important to Europe as it is the United States. Uh, in the US, you know, it is actually easier to get there, but Europe is very dependent upon us in the liberal democracies that uh, quite honestly, that uh, we're not impacted by dictators across the world like Russia that uh, will dictate how we live every day. And look, uh, when we step back, Plug is really excited about the Renewable Energy Directive version three. Uh, Europe has gone through a number of these versions. And, you know, when you look at it, uh, the European Commission and European Parliament are almost there and have come to an understanding of having 42.5% of their energy from renewables by 2030. That's really aggressive. And that actually equates to generating 10 million tons of green hydrogen uh, for usage across Europe by 2030. And to plug, that's a lot of electrolyzers. Uh, we estimate to achieve that goal, Europe will need 150 to 210 gigawatts of electrolyzers. And Today and during this week, we made an announcement that Plug is, is producing over the last quarter a record in the industry of 120 megawatts of PEM electrolyzer stacks. No one's ever done that. I think if you add up everything everyone's done in the world in PEM electrolyzer stacks, it probably adds up to 120 megawatts and that's about to become Plug's monthly output. And our relationships with people like Johnson Matthey really positions us for the future to produce more and more gigawatt level of PEM electrolyzers to support this ambitious European goal. So look, this is really good for Plug. It's also really good for the world. The fact that Europe is really taking such a strong leadership position to promote green hydrogen, to promote, promote energy independence. Plug is a strong supporter. You know, I uh, often remind folks that Plug is European and we've been European for a long time. And, uh, and you know, during the days where everybody was saying, 
everyone should just rush the United States to support because of the IRA support. Plug was very public about our commitments to Europe and those commitments to Europe remain strong. So hope this was helpful and keep on watching what's going on in Europe and keep on watching Plug's European activity. Thank you, everyone.